Hi there, and welcome to another episode of the Jenny Kirk Show's Monkey Builds. I am Zoe Kirk Robinson, also known as the Cupboard Monkey from the Monday Club, and you are watching a review of a very old model. Today's video comes in association with Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. Find the full range available to order now at tramfabrique.co.uk. Additional support comes to you from TMC, the model centre, whose hot summer sale is too hot to miss. Grab yourself a bargain now from either new items or second-hand items with anywhere up to a massive 60% off RRP. There's also an additional 5% off at checkout if you enter the code HOT. You can also specify to have custom weathering applied to any item that you buy. So grab yourself a bargain now at themodelcenter.com. <laughs> Now, the Deltic that we have for here is a kit from many, many decades ago. I believe this started in the 60s, and the kit as it stands now is supposed to be a continuation of the original. So all the parts are from the original tools or replicated from original parts. So it's quite a, a blast from the past in that respect. And I really enjoyed trying to put it together. The operative word there is trying. There's something to be said about modern manufacturing and modern uh, methods of creating models that clearly wasn't around in the 60s and as a result this is a difficult build. If you want to get a perfect replica of a Deltic, building this kit is unfortunately going to take you an awful lot of time, effort, probably a lot of blood, sweat and tears, tears especially. It's old and the way it's packaged in a plastic bag with a loose uh, leaf piece of instructions isn't the best method of preserving what is quite a delicate kit. So what we've got here is a load of parts that vaguely stick together and your task is to try and make them come out straight from the packet and then place them into the right positions, hold them there and hope for the best. Because a lot of the techniques that we'd now expect from model making where there's uh, lots of uh, places where you can connect together and there'll be guides in the form of guide parts as well. Like so fit A into slot B, that kind of thing. A lot of that isn't here on this model. It's quite difficult. And if you're not used to that kind of model, you're going to have a very hard time putting this together. Because I know I did. I've been building kits since I was a kid. And yes, I had a bit of a uh, break from it. But for the most part, I've been building kits for a very long time. I've built kits from many, many manufacturers. This is the most frustrating one that I've ever come across. And I don't say that lightly because I wanted to like it. So what we've got here is an interesting situation. This is a very old kit, but it's clear that parts of it have fared better than others in terms of keeping it going into the modern day for production. There is an extra flashing. So either these kits have been retooled to their original uh, tooling and then enhanced to make sure that you get the best effect, or they've taken original parts, made tools from those, and then made sure that those tools are genuine and perfect to the originals, because it looks like it's made using brand new tools. This thing is perfect in that respect. I have 100% uh, praise for the people who have made this replica of the original as close to it as could be. My problem is that they should have enhanced it for the modern times. It doesn't fit together well. That's I'm beating around the bush a bit, but yeah, it doesn't fit together well. I had a lot of trouble with it. I struggled a lot just trying to get the parts to fit. It feels like some of them have bent or warped. Or it might just be that this kind of kit no longer 
<laughs> requires the same kind of skills that I have and actually needs you to go further because some of this it just wouldn't come together. I can't get the roof to stick to the sides or the front. If I get it to stick to the sides the fronts uh, have a gap. If I get it to fit to the fronts they start pulling away from the base. That kind of thing. There's something not quite right. And that's a real issue because the detail on this Deltic is great. I love it. It looks fantastic. But it won't fit together the way that I was expecting. And don't get me started on the fact that in order to stay to, true to the originals, which I, re I respect, I understand that perfectly. They want to make this as close to what you would have been able to buy back in the day as possible. They haven't included windows. And there's a note in the instructions that say why. It's because they couldn't find the original uh, tooling piece. They couldn't find the original part, so they can't be sure what it was. But then they put a note on saying, from the looks of the original part list, it appears to have just been a sheet of plastic, which would have worked perfectly fine for the windows. But they didn't put a sheet of plastic in. So what's that about? They've put the note in saying, yeah, it just a, appears to have been a sheet of plastic, but because we can't make sure it was just a sheet of plastic, we haven't put one in. So the result is that you have a model with no windows. Now, I was able to put some windows in. I sourced a sheet of plastic, the, the right kind of uh, thin window material plastic that we use in model making, and I put windows into my Deltic, and that was very nice. But the fact that they didn't put one in is just a bit weird. And also, of course, the Deltic has curved windows on the front and uh, around the cab sides. So I couldn't use my sheet of plastic for that because it would have bent and cracked. So I'm a bit upset because at the end of the day, this is a great idea. And I love the idea of a nice replica of the original style of model. It would be great. But this doesn't quite fit up to that. And it's very annoying. So in the end, I have to give it a 5 out of 10 because I understand what it's going for, I respect what it's going for, but the end result wasn't worth the effort that they've clearly gone to for it. So it's a bit of a disappointment. I'd like to see a modern take on a Deltic in kit form because that would be very nice to try and build. But until next time, that's all we've got for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Do you agree with my assessment of this uh, Deltic? Or am I one of those that uh, maybe this wasn't for? Maybe it was designed for someone that's more used to a almost scratch building in the way you would have to keep and hold pieces together without any guides or anything like that. Is that more what it was for? Let me know in the comments. But until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson, also known as the Covered Monkey from the Monday Club. You've been watching a monkey build on the Jenny Kirk channel. Jenny will be back on Monday, and I'll see you later. Today's video comes in association with Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. Find the full range available to order now at tramfabrique.co.uk. Additional support comes to you from TMC, the model centre, whose hot summer sale is too hot to miss. Grab yourself a bargain now from either new items or second-hand items with anywhere up to a massive 60% off RRP. There's also an additional 5% off at checkout if you enter the code HOT. You can also specify to have custom weathering applied to any item that you buy. So grab yourself a bargain now at themodelcenter.com. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Offshore Allen, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky107107, George Botterini, Chris Moss, Robert Steers, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, John N. from NC, NYM Arish, Jonathan Foster, Peter, Clifford Ison, Larry W. Grant, NI Railways 4000 Class, Ian Coulson, Alan Dickerson, Eddie Papair, Karen Nicholl, Medwin Williams, Crossways Point Junction, 3B Rail, and Jennifer Garrett, thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.